Okay, we are uh, looking at the Outlaw Septic Tank, uh, a little bit of a tutorial here just to uh, auxiliate the drawings uh, so that you understand it really well. This is a typical septic tank. The solids come in to a chamber that's baffled off from another chamber. The solids tend to float up here, so uh, they don't get into the other chamber. That's why the hole in the baffle is there. So this is just liquid. An anaerobic process takes place here, and this anaerobic process is where E. coli is killed and things like that, and where solids break down. That's just how a septic tank works. The inlet is higher than the outlet, and then it goes into a drain field or a botanical cell, in our case. Uh, that's just how they work. They're usually made of concrete and or plastic. Um, now, the outlaw septic tank that we're showing for the simple survival is just a hole that's five and a half feet deep, five and a half feet in diameter. Uh, it achieves the same thing with lorry tires, big uh, bus dump truck tires is what these are. And they are just, the, the hole is dug, it's round, and it's five and a half feet deep. The lorry, then we line it with EPDM, rubber, in third world countries, sometimes we use several layers of plastic. Um, we line it and we stack up lorry tires in it, about five or six of them. We put huge big uh, rocks usually here to leave space for water to leach out through the tires. The purpose of these rocks is to keep these tires tight against the edge so the tires are here and the rocks are here. Sometimes we'll use small tires for this purpose, but we're just jamming the tires over here so they stay in a nice stack and uh, placing big rocks to let the water go from the solid place, like the bath on the conventional septic tank, to leach through to the liquid place, and then that just goes out to one of our botanical cells, our drain fields. Uh, in the case of the simple survival, we just pour a domed little slab on top of that with a toilet flange and set the toilet right in it. It flushes right in to the outlaw septic tank. And the reason we do this, one of the reasons, is this can be placed in the greenhouse. The anaerobic process that takes place in here likes to be warm. So that's why we want to make this thing so it can function in the greenhouse. It's completely sealed and it functions just like a conventional septic tank, only it's a fraction of the cost and you can do it yourself. The drawings and sketches will take this uh, a little further for you and let us know if you have any questions.